Hey there, everybody. Good morning. We're running a few minutes late here at the, uh, the old North Alabama command center, but that's okay. We are here for today's installment of seven minutes in the morning. We've been talking all week about being stuck, getting unstuck today. Why your business is stuck and what to do about it. Grab a cup of coffee and let's dig in. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now here's the host of seven minutes in the morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hmm. I just noticed. I have extra protein in my coffee this morning. A few of the grounds in there. Hey, how's everybody doing this morning? My name is Tom and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. All this week, we've been talking about being stuck, what you can do about it when you feel like you're stuck. But today, I want to talk to you about why your business is stuck. You might know the answer to this. You might have a clue, but we're going to hit it anyway. Um, before we get to that, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Joe has done. Leave a comment, say good morning, how you doing, what's in your coffee, whatever. A fabulous morning. The sun is shining somewhere, Catherine. I agree with that. Uh, and you can be all that you choose to be. Wow, that's a great one. appreciate that. Always enjoy seeing those as they come rolling across. Okay, so this week we've been talking about being stuck. Um, oh man, how to grow your business when you feel stuck. Three mistakes that you make that keep you stuck today. Why your business is stuck. This is a, um, sometimes I put these like soapbox warnings or steel toed boot warnings, uh, on the show today would definitely be a steel toed boot warning. And we, we were talking about this yesterday and, and Joe made the comment about there's a difference between being stuck and being in quicksand. Yes. And to a great extent, that's the point that I want to make today. You can legitimately be stuck or you can be sinking in quicksand. The reason that your business is stuck. Now let's define stuck for a minute. I always like to make sure we're all on the same page about what we're talking about here. But stuck is when no matter what you do, you, the, the results don't change. You, you, you feel like you're doing everything you know how to do. Maybe you've tried different things, different products, different services, different locations. Nothing moves the needle. You're stuck. You're in a rut. Same activity is producing the same results. That's being stuck. So, uh, Joe says, good question. Are you stuck or do you know that there has to be something else, something better? That's a really good point. And, and, and it kind of leads to this conversation about why the business is stuck. Very often, I had, I had this conversation over the weekend. Very often, we start comparing where we are with where somebody else is who's months, years down the road from us. And we think, ah, I just can't get there. I can't get the, the followers. I can't get the traction. I can't get the business, whatever the, the case is, whatever the comparison is, I can't do as well as them. I must be stuck. Well, not always. Sometimes you just have to put in your work to get to where they are. They've done the work. They have put the work in. They're enjoying the benefits of that. Now you have to put in the work. So it's not always being stuck. Sometimes this is just what the job is and you've got to put the work in to get where you're going. If that makes sense. Now, the, the, the biggest reason though, that I see across the board where you, when that causes your business to be stuck is you. Oh man, I told you this was a steel toed boot morning. We project just like any other relationship, we project expectations on it. And I, we've talked a lot about this, about managing expectations for your customers, for your employees, um, for everybody, for every relationship. The problem is the business can't, can't clarify its 
its expectations on you. So we have to do a little bit of inference here. Ha ha ha. Hey Jeff. Good morning. Um, we have to do a little bit of inference. We project expectations on the business, but the business doesn't have any way to, to correct them back to us verbally. This is where it's really important to be able to look at, to first define the, the key performance indicators, the KPIs of your business, and then two, be able to collect them, and then three, be able to interpret them. And for the vast majority of business owners, the only KPIs they have are in their financials. And, and actually, I held this up because it comes once a year, and that's what they look at. How do you know? How do you know whether the business is growing or not? I worked with a business one time. When we went in there, they had 13 accounting periods. And the 13th one wasn't for the four extra weeks in the year that come from four-week months. It was for everything else. So there was an accounting period for every month. And then there was a 13th period, which was just, that's where we put everything else. We don't know where it goes. <laughs> you have, to, so your business is telling you a story. It's answering, it, it is, it's answering to the expectations that you're projecting on it. You just have to read the answer. It's in the financials. It's in the KPIs. It's in your projections sat down and did a quick spreadsheet for a client and said, okay, if you keep earning on this path, this is what you're going to have at the end of the year. Oh man, that's really cool. How'd you find that out? I don't know. Math, not complicated, right? If you're making this much every day and there's been this many days so far, just count how many days are left, Right. I mean, you, you, you have to put the work in this. This is kind of the key, whether you're comparing yourself to someone further down the road, you're comparing yourself to yourself with your KPIs, or you're just comparing yourself to your expectations, which is probably what's happening and probably why you're stuck because expectations are not what you should measure yourself against. I almost said they're immeasurable. They, they, they can be most of the time they're not, but they can be. So I backed off of that. Without creating these concrete measures in the form of KPIs or at least financial targets, you're just hoping your strategy for a better year this year is hope. I hope it's going to be better than last year. And we've talked about the quality of the hope strategy. It's not one. Joe says, if you stay stuck for too long, you are a prime candidate for burnout. I, I would say not a prime candidate. I'd say you're guaranteed to burn out. That this is one of the things that creates burnout. Now, I will differentiate between a business owner and an entrepreneur. A, an entrepreneur will burn out quicker than a business owner will. Because we have, we're very ADD about what we do. We need to start something, get it running, then move on to something else. Business owners more apt to sit there and run and, and just keep going. Maybe do it for decades and think, well, this is just what, what it is. This is what it's like to own a business. Not even realizing that, that by saying that to themselves, they are creating a self-fulfilling prophecy for their business. God, it's just so bad. Um, hey, Catherine, I saw that you said hi to Tara. Tara hadn't left a comment yet, though, so I can't say hi to her, but I will when she does that. That would be awesome. Uh, now we have things to do for the business and we have to do math. Yes, I do expect a lot. You know why I expect a lot? Because you want a lot. We have, we start, I had the opportunity to speak for a group yesterday. And the very first question I said was, why did you start a business? What didn't, why, why did you do it? And I got the requisite answer that everybody gives. Oh, to make money. And I said, oh, that's the wrong answer. Yeah, okay, maybe you started it to make money, but why do you want why do you want to make money? Oh, so I could quit my job. Aha. Uh -huh. You started it because you're looking for freedom. That's a big deal. And those big deals come with a lot of work. I'm just kind of, you know, pushing you down the road to do the work 
so that you can reach your your full potential. That's all. Tara, how are you? Oh, good to good to see you here this morning too. All right, so your business is stuck because you're stuck. You are not doing the work. You're not doing the requisite work. You haven't set the right measures. You're not measuring them. You're not reading the financials, reading the KPIs. Set that goal that you want to achieve back into what you have to do every month in order to get there and then measure it. Really not that complicated. But if you need help with that, by all means, drop me a comment or send me a message. I'd be happy to hop on the phone and help you figure out what those are. I, I mean, really, if you, if you don't have them, here's your homework for today. It's just an honesty question for yourself since this has been a steel toed show today. Just an honesty question for yourself. How are you measuring the success of your business? How do you know if you're getting better or not? How do you know if you're stuck or not? Is it just a feeling or is there something quantifiable that you can measure? I've taken them all down because I moved my sticky board from back there to over here. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Woo, got all excited there for a minute. <coughs> Just get worked up talking about the sticky board. I took them all down from back there <coughs> to move them over here, but the point still remains having those stickies on the board so that you can see them moving, that progression, that progress <coughs> helps remind you this is one of the things you get when you watch a live show. <clears throat> I don't get to edit all this out. <clears throat> oh, okay. There. Seeing that progression across the board reinforces for you, just remind you that you are making progress. So how do you know? How are you measuring the success, the progress in your business? Catherine said, I started the business to have the opportunity to daily encourage others to live their purposeful lives. Encouragement was my foundation. That's awesome. Having expectations and having defined expectations can be a significant factor for business. Absolutely. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up today. If you got any value from our time together today, I would appreciate the old heart stars, thumbs up, <laughs> likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching or listening. There's at least coffee in here. Catherine. Uh, and right underneath the video is the share button. If you would click on that share, that was somebody that you know that would enjoy watching me cough today. Uh, they can watch the replay and glean the benefit of watching today's show. They'll appreciate you and I will too. That's it for today. You guys have a great Thursday. I'll be back again tomorrow. I'm going to go answer a couple of these comments. You guys take care. Oh, wait. Wait, see, almost did it and messed it up. Here it goes.